what is conditional probability? If a conditional probability arises in situations where you do not have independent events, but it is not necessarily mutually exclusive, it could be also. Think about this independent and mutually exclusive, you can think of them as two ends of a spectrum. Okay. It is like one says, I do not care about B. I will find A intersection B happily, P of A into P of B. As in, not I do not care about B, A and B do not influence each other. Okay? The other says, <coughs> Oh, if you want A and B together, it is 0, I know. They cannot happen. They are so they are so dependent in that way that if A happens, B will not happen. But it it could also be that A and B are dependent in other ways. For example, in that same dice and sum and product. If I had said sum is 5 and product is even, they are clearly dependent. The probability will be very high for the intersection. You understand because whenever sum is 5, the product is actually even. They are so dependent. If sum is 5, I can say product is even cert with certainty. Okay? Now, so which means when you have two events, you do not have only two categories, either they are independent or they are mutually exclusive. The very common category is that they are dependent, okay? but not dependent in the sense that you can exclude uh, you know, them happening together, could be dependent in other ways. Like, so, this is what brings us to the idea of conditional probability. Conditional means the probability of one depends on the other as a number. Okay. So, how do we find probability of two events happening? So, the correct way to write, okay, so we say P of A given B is probability of, of event A happening. given that B happens. It is very important. The idea of A happening will be separate. The idea of A and B both happening is some other probability. This is conditional says the, idea, the probability of A happening, happening given that B happens. We do not worry how likely or unlikely is B, that we will worry about later. Suppose I ask you what is the probability that okay, this building will shake tomorrow during class, okay, it is very unlikely, hopefully <laughs> not your class, there will be some class tomorrow, there will be some class, there is a class happening for fast track students or there are some 11 standard or 10 standard students will be coming. Okay. Huh? So, the probability that the building will shake is very, very less. But suppose I ask, given that an earthquake is going to hit Chennai tomorrow at exactly 6 pm in the evening, what is the probability that the building will shake? That is still not, not, necessar it, it not necessarily one. You, it, you could have an earthquake that affects many other buildings. Who knows? Maybe this building's foundation is very strong and it will not shake. Please note when an earthquake. Huh? Something like, yeah, you can do that. Very good, very good. Actually, you can do some calculations like that area of the. But the point is that probability may be, let's say, half. Okay, Chuma, because it's earthquake happening in this area, and very high chance that this building will shake. Do you see the fact that earthquake happens and building shakes are very connected events. So, given that one happens, the other probability changes drastically. Because when I ask you, generally if I ask a question, what is the probability that this building will shake tomorrow during tomorrow's class? Hopefully the probability will be very low because otherwise you have to prepare for all such eventualities when I come here. Okay? Should I finish the portions by 6 o'clock because the building will shake at 7 o'clock? I do not want to think about it. I think probability is like you know 1 by some 10,000 or 100,000 or maybe even very, very unlikely. Maybe once in 10 years 
something like some freak event like this happens. 10 years is 3650 days. Okay? So it's like 1 by so 1 by 10,000 is not a bad estimate. You understand? But then even when that happens, maybe this building won't shake. Maybe the neighbor building, the neighboring building will shake. So a 1 by 10,000 probability has changed to 1 by 2 probability with some new piece of information. The new piece of information is that earthquake has happened. Because this event is highly dependent on that event. You understand? Okay? So, conditional probability basically gives you a way to calculate probabilities when events are dependent on each other. One probability calculation is conditional upon some other event happening, not happening, etc. Some event. Okay? Now, the problem is, in fact, I mentioned some of this last class. There is no way you can calculate that conditional probability from first principles and probability. You cannot calculate the probability that building will shake given earthquake will occur. You cannot use any probability theory to do, like he said, you can do a little bit of area and this thing and all that, but that requires assuming, that is not a max assumption. That is a that is a general assumption about buildings and how structures work and etcetera, etcetera. But I am saying purely from a mathematical point of view, usually P of A given B, this line, a vertical line or a slightly slanted line, both are used for conditional probability. Okay, this is not A divided by B. Okay, it is A given B is a number that somebody has to tell you, really. Okay? Just like somebody has to tell you P of B and then P of A, and then they can ask you about A and B together. Similarly, they have to tell you A given B. Then what can you do? The probability of both A and B happening, A intersection B is, it is like in permutations. You say, first let us pick Q, number of ways of doing that. Once I have picked Q, I have only n minus 1 ways of picking P, you know. Like that you will do many problems like that. You would say, first let us assume B happens. So, probability of that is P of B. Then for A, you should not write P of A, because that is when if A and B are independent. You should say, now that B has happened, what is the probability of A given B? Or another way of writing is, P of A into P of B given A. Okay? In this scenario, you can even ask, what is the probability that earthquake happened given that building shook? Or you can say, sir, building can shake because of many reasons. Building can shake because of some stupid foundation. Building can shake because rain happened and some water seeped into the thing. Or building can shake because of earthquake. So, you can say, if you know, if you have knowledge that the building shook, what is the probability that the earthquake happened? You will say maybe 1 by 3. It is not very low, but it is not 1. Okay, You understand? So, the main idea I want to convey in conditional probability is separately P of A could be very small, but P of A given B could be much larger. Or it could also be the other way around. P of A given B could be smaller than P of A just like in mutually exclusive events. Suppose I say I want to pick two numbers okay, whose sum is whatever odd. Okay. Then I want to pick two numbers whose product is let us say even. If I say sum is odd is known, then product is even is compulsory. Think about it. Sum is odd means you should have one even and one odd number. So, the product will be even, just two natural numbers if I take. So, but if I just change the event to product is odd, then the probability becomes 0. So, what I am trying to convey is conditional probability can be either higher than the regular probability or lower than the regular probability. It can move both ways. P of A given B can be less than P of A and can be greater than P of A can be equal to P of A. 
when is it equal to p of e when is independent why because p of a intersection b then becomes p of b into p of a and that equation proves they are independent but from a conceptual way if somebody tells p of a given b is the same as p of a you are saying the information that b happened did not change my probability of a did not matter which means they are actually independent that is that is the English language intuitive way of understanding independence that is confirmed with our equation also is that clear ok.